Hello everyone. Now we will start with our data migration techniques in detail and we will go for our first data migration technique that is BDC. The full form of BDC is batch data communication and we all know with the help of BDC we can transfer the legacy system data into SAP system. We can transfer the data of non-SAP system to SAP system. Now, what is the principle of BDC? On which principle BDC work? BDC works on the principle of screen recording. We will understand this step. What do you mean by screen recording? Suppose I'm saying, suppose we received the materials from the legacy system. Suppose we received the legacy data for the materials. Now we need to migrate those materials into SAP system. So what is the principle of BDC? how you can migrate those materials into SAP system. What BDC is saying, make a recording, make a recording, how you can create a material in SAP. Just record the steps, how you can create a material in SAP. And after that, use that recording to upload all the materials into SAP. Suppose I want to migrate or I want to upload the sales orders of legacy system into SAP system. So what BDC is saying, what is the BDC principle? Record the steps, how you can create a sales order and use that recording to upload the legacy system sales order into SAP system. So always make a recording and use that recording to migrate the specific data, whatever the data you want to migrate. It can be sales order data, it can be material data, it can be business partner data, any sort of data you can upload you just have to record the steps how you can do that particular thing. Now, we never, never go for blind recording. Just we'll go for a simple scenario. Suppose whenever I want to go for a recording, I will do a rehearsal first so that at the time of recording, there should not be any mistake the same case is here also. Never go for blind recording because if you will go for blind recording, it might be the case you will do some mistakes during the recording itself and you are using that recording to upload all the data. It means all those records, there is a mistake. So never go for blind recording. Firstly, without recording, make a rehearsal. Yes, this is the way how we can go for this particular process. Then record that particular steps or those steps. Suppose we will go for a example. We will go for a uh, requirement. Suppose we received the legacy materials. We received the legacy material data and we need to upload those materials into SAP system. So we rather than going for blind recording, firstly, we will simply check how to create a material in SAP. Then we will record the steps of how to create a material. Then we will use that recording to upload the legacy data. So firstly, rather than going for direct recording, we'll firstly see how to create a material. We all know 
if i want to create a material we can create through mm01 transaction code so i will firstly go for mm01 transaction code so this is the transaction code by which you can create a material in sap i will give some material number suppose i am saying suppose p suppose p test material suppose p material i can give any name i will choose the industry sector suppose i will choose suppose pharmaceuticals as industry sector and suppose i will take material type as raw material suppose i am pressing enter i will go for basic data one i will pass the description of the material suppose test material and i will pass the unit of measurement i will choose from the help suppose i will go for ea each now i will save this material and you can see material created p material created so to create the material what we did we give the material number we pass the industry sector and material type then we gave the description and unit of measurement and we know mara and makt are the major tables in which material are getting stored now we will check whatever the material we created is this is storing into these sap tables so i will firstly go for mara table in sc11 i passed the table mara it is material master table i will go to contents of the table and now i will pass whatever the material got created p material if i will execute you can see we have the material this is the material number we gave the unit of measurement as e a and we gave the industry sector and material type what is m t a r t m t a r t is material type and m b r s h is industry sector you can see in the table itself m t a r t is material type m b r s h is industry sector now will go for the contents again simply if you remember when we created the material we pass the industry sector as pharmaceuticals but it is storing p we pass the material type as raw material but it is storing t r o h now we will see if we will see p stands for pharmaceuticals it means you are choosing pharmaceutical but what sap is storing p you are passing raw material you are passing raw material just a minute you are passing raw material but what sap is storing sap is storing p r o h because our meti industry sector is one character long if you will see the length of industry sector it is one character long if you see the length of material type it is four characters long so what is visible to us pharmaceutical but what sap is storing p you are choosing raw material but what sap is storing t r o h why i am putting this much stress 
because while uploading the legacy data it will play a important role now the description of the material will store into makt table i will display makt table and i will pass the same material here also and you can see whatever the description you passed it is storing into makt table so whenever you are creating a material through mm01 the corresponding data is storing into mara and makt tables these are the major tables now we know the steps very clear how to create a material in sap now we can go for recording because we already did the rehearsal now that this is the way to create a material now we will do the recording of how to create a material because we discussed never never go for blind recording always do a rehearsal first then go for recording now if i want to go for recording the transaction code is shdb important transaction code now i will go for transaction code shdb with the help of this transaction code you can do the recording i will click on to new recording i will give some name to the recording suppose i am saying mm01 recording mm01 underscore recording now we are recording the steps of which transaction code mm01 now i will click on to start recording and you can see i am in mm01 now i am recording the steps of mm01 i will give some material name suppose i will give suppose p2 material suppose industry sector pharmaceuticals material type raw material now i will press enter i will go for basic data one and the same to same things we are doing but now just we are recording everything i will pass the description suppose test material now i will not use the help i will directly pass ea just simple thing if you will use the help during the recording itself it means this help will go for each and every record so whenever you are going for recording never take any kind of help and never pass the wrong values that's why we simply firstly do the rehearsal and then we are doing the recording so that during the recording we will not take any help and we will not pass any wrong values because if you will pass the wrong values or if you will take any kind of help of sap suppose f4 help f1 help it means all those things will get recorded also so what are the various precautions we have to take during recording never use any f4 or f1 help and never pass the wrong values now i will simply click on to save button now this is our recording recording is completed i will save this recording i will go to back button and this is the recording which is ready now rest part we will continue in the next video thank you